All right, so I've been wanting to do this uh, video for some time. Biggest reason, because uh, we installed a uh, huge turbo, rear mount turbo on the car. Um, just showing you right here, it's got a shadow dash. Uh, it's by uh, the tuning, Tuner Studio is the uh, software on the tablet. And it's uh, connected to the MS3X Mega Square controller via Bluetooth. There's a little Bluetooth donger, pl dongle plugged into the front of the uh, controller um, that shows us everything it's got the uh, uh, boost pressure it's got it of course you can see attack it's got mile per hour it's got left and right oxygen sensors battery voltage uh, air intake temperature uh, throttle position and it even has a shift light built into it so I can set the I don't even have to have a shift light on the dash it just as soon as it gets the right rpm that turns red uh, so I'm really tickled with that, like that. Um, so this car started out um, pretty much like it is. It's just, uh, it was a 318 car originally. I got it, when I got it, it had a uh, 360 in it, which sounded really pretty nice. But uh, the sheet metal is all in pretty good shape. It's uh, 70,000 miles on the car. But we took that 360 out and put a uh, 30 over 440 in it, which was prepared by Ed Thompson. Um, it's an 11, 11, uh, 11 to 1 compression motor, because um, it was just a carbureted motor when I put it in here. And then, um, let's see, so it's got a uh, Racer Brown 520 lifts uh, solid lift cam, and it's got 1.6 uh, ratio 440 source rockers. It's got uh, Pro Comp uh, heads on it. I don't know if you can see that head, but it's got the 440, so it's got the, it needs offset rockers. And uh, those heads have been pretty good. The only thing I wouldn't do um, with those heads is I would buy them bare and have them prepared by uh, a local engine builder that you, you trust. Um, the valve guides and the springs were junk. All right, so um, it's got, uh, you can say it's a fully, right now it's a fully sequential 440. I took the distributor out and we've got, uh, coils, LS1 uh, truck coils are in there right now and uh, so um, we made the uh, coil brackets that the coils are mounted to and um, in here you can see the uh, cam position sensor, you can kind of see it in there. I made that, had this made and I made the uh, uh, bushing so I have these parts here. You can see down here it's got a crank uh, position sensor or uh, trigger wheel I should say the sensors on the other side and that's what uh, that's how it picks up and it's kind of hard to see in that picture but it's down there and then we uh, so we've added the uh, turbo and it's like I said it's a rear mount turbo which is the coolest thing um, I didn't want all that turbo and heat and piping and everything up here where it was hard to work on uh, everything and uh, so we did a rear mount turbo. You can see the blow off valve there. And uh, one of the cool things, see that's three inch pipe and we ran it through the uh, fender well. There's a hole that was already there in the uh, fender well and it just fit right through that. And uh, so we got it through the fender well and it comes up, you can see it coming through there and it comes up over top of the uh, front wheel. It just runs, runs right along the top there and uh, comes down here behind the rear wheel. That three inch pipe runs clear back to those massive tires. I had it uh, mini tubbed a couple years ago by Doug Smith. So here's the uh, turbo. You can see it's a precision turbo T6 flange. See that's a five inch five inch exhaust pipe there. Um, <clears throat> you can see if you can see this, there's a frame right here that the turbo is sitting inside of. It's like a picture frame. And we dropped it in and it's bolted. You can see where it's bolted here, here to the frame. The turbo is bolted in there. And uh, so that's part of the support mechanism. So <clears throat> what we did was this is how we mounted it because we took the we took the uh, gas tank out of the 
bottom there some time ago because it was sloshing uh, out the uh, filler neck. So you know when we left off the line, so I decided to put a fuel cell in the trunk. That's eliminated a lot of that trouble. And uh, so if you see this bracket right here. This is what the turbo is hanging off of. And there's heim joints uh, here and down here at the bottom that go into that frame that I was pointing out just a moment ago. And we decided to do it that way because it sits on top of the frame, the unibody frame, instead of hanging off the sheet metal in the bottom. So it's a pretty, pretty solid mount for all that weight. And it also lets it um, float. So if the exhaust, depending on what the temperature of the exhaust pipe is, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna, you know, it's going to expand from the heat or cool, so it, this this setup here lets it lets it move. It doesn't hold it rigid, and uh, so that's uh, that's what's going on there. And then we added just recently added a snow performance uh, water meth injection. There's the tank, and you can see the pump is down underneath there. Um, there's the the mini tub. So I haven't finished that work up, cleaning that up. But that's the, the mini tubs. So, so up underneath here are the uh, wastegates. You got two of them, one on each side of the motor. Um, you can see the wastegate there, there's one of them. And then you can see the exhaust, the pipe hanging down from the other one on the other side. Uh, so here's the uh, O2 sensor, it's got a left and right side O2 sensor. So the transmission is a 727 torque flight, it's got a, prepared by a Eddie Knowles, it has an ATI 5600 stall tree master torque converter. It's got an A&A a &A transmission uh, front drum, and um, it's got a uh, the front uh, planetary is a steel planetary. It's got a bolt-in rear sprag and it's got a CSR uh, transmission cover, carbon fiber transmission cover. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Well, that might be about it. Um, so the car had run 1086 on the motor and uh, we haven't got our best time yet out of the turbo but uh, quite sure with the a turbo that'll make 1500 horsepower it'll perk up quite a bit so that's my uh, rear mount turbo and uh, we're at uh, neveroughnoughperformance.com it's an addiction have a good day y'all